Hey everyone, that's it. We've had the first European Grand Prix of the season in Imola. Obviously, Enzo and Dino Ferrari is the name of the racetrack. Imola has got a huge history. May 94, Elton Senna, his last race in Formula One, but also some other incredible races. 2005 or 2006, Schumacher versus Alonso, incredible. So yeah, when we got back to Imola in 2020 with Formula 1, the first shootouts around the track were just amazing. I loved it. I'm glad to see that Formula 1 is going back there. Weekend was a bit tricky with conditions. It rained, it's dry on Saturday. The race was half wet, half dry. But my five points, first of all, Red Bull. Red Bull is back. Red Bull was first and second. Uh, nothing better you can get with the fastest lap. Max Verstappen won the qualifying race, so definitely Red Bull had a very successful weekend. They show speed all, all during the weekend. They leave Imola under the colors of Ferrari with a first and second. Amazing. Talking of Ferrari, it's a lot of pressure for Ferrari at Imola. It's kind of their own race with Monza as well. And if Mugello, you know, is in the calendar, that's their three races. But Imola is like, 50 miles away from the factory of Ferrari, so a lot of pressure. I felt like the team did a good job, they had a fast car, but the drivers didn't quite got it 100% perfect. Carlos Sainz crashed in qualifying, and they contacted lap one of the race. You see, I don't think there were much he could do there, but he ended up in the gravel. If he had maybe started more at the front, it would have been, you know, maybe a different story. And then Charles Leclerc tried it really hard. And I like that. I like that he tried so hard to get P2 in that main race, overtake Perez and, and you know, send it at the, at the chicane, lost the rear end, was very lucky to hit the wall and not damage more the car. The real question here is how much damage were, was there on the car? And, I've kept going with a broken front wing. What would have been the loss of lap time with the broken front wing versus speeding to change the wing. So obviously in Formula One, you've got a lot of data or the engineers can see a lot of stuff. Maybe it would have been good to try to keep P3 with um, yeah, the broken front wing. Anyway, good recovery after that, but um, luckily at a big margin in the championship, but a tough weekend for uh, the Ferrari drivers. Third point, Lando Norris, amazing, really good. You know, again, Lando shows maturity, speed, consistency. McLaren has bounced back from that first race in Bahrain. That was a disaster and they're doing really good. I'm pleased to see that, you know, those guys managed to put it back together. And I'm surprised Mercedes didn't manage to come back in a game yet. So that's point four and fourth position of George Russell. An amazing drive from George, an amazing, you know, first lap and getting through the traffic and, and getting the best of that car. You know, he could cap the Alfa Romeo behind him. He finished fourth, Lewis is down to 14th position. So very, very impressive job by George Russell. But a little bit disappointing not to see Mercedes bringing big update. I was convinced they would bring a big update in, in Imola and they did not. And they're still on the back foot. So I'm looking forward to see Mercedes back at the front 100%. But um, difficult at the minute. But George doing incredible. Podium last race, no, that's fourth. And uh, he's, he's up there with a car that's not clearly not to the level. Point number five, Kevin Magnussen. Very happy to see Kevin doing so well. Fourth in qualifying. Again, showing his class and experience and speed and, and being there and not making any mistakes. I think the Haas in race pace was not super competitive the last two days. But again, you know, Kevin was, was up there, you know, in comparison with his teammates. He shows that experience and speed and so on are very important in Formula 1. Very difficult weekend for Mick Schumacher on one end and another brilliant weekend from Kevin Magnussen. So I'm really happy to see Kevin doing so well. As I said at the beginning of the videos after the race 1 or race 2, I hope Haas can keep up the development. That worries me a little bit. But for now, Kevin is doing an absolute incredible job. So super happy with that. Alfa Romeo also doing great with, with Boras. So yeah, that was uh, that was Imola. Next race is my home race, Miami. I can tell you one thing: everyone is so excited about the race in Miami. It's gonna be huge. I'm gonna try to get you a few feedback on the racetrack as soon as possible. But make sure that, uh, as always, like, subscribe, comments. Please let me know what you wanna talk about. I try to get you know different background for you today, a little bit different, uh, so we get a change. And uh, we've got plenty of ideas on the pipeline. But please make sure that um, you also ask me what you want in the videos. And I'll see you very soon.